All right, guys, I found something special. This is a caterpillar. This is known as the eyed tiger caterpillar. It is the larval phase of the giant leopard moth. The giant leopard moth is named after the leopard cat for its spots. But I do want to find out if it'll sting, and if it does sting, how bad is that sting? So I'm gonna go ahead and try it out right here on my arm. And I think y'all be able to get a good enough visual. So. In one of my previous videos, I showed the difference in the female cow killer and the male cow killer. Just noting how one will sting and one will fly. The female will sting and the male will fly. I wanted to show everybody there's nothing to be worried about with the male cow killer by simply conducting the sting experiment. Very similar to the video you're watching now. I wanted to prove to people that not all animals that look bad are bad or poisonous. So I posted that video on many insect awareness groups on Facebook, and I got back many great replies. However, one reply just felt like needed answered. That reply said, male hemenotherapins are incapable of stinging because they don't have a stinger. This video is kind of stupid. Nowhere in the title does it say I got stung by the male velvet ant. That's the title to one of my other videos. The purpose of the group I posted that video in was to make people more aware of different insects that they may not have encountered or that they may encounter in the future. It's great that you're aware that the male velvet ant won't sting, but it's not like you're out there spreading the word. How many of these harmless insects do you suppose are killed due to a misconception or mistaken identity? Better yet, how many people do you think might appreciate a video like this? I'll leave you with this. When you were young, who inspired you? Let's go ahead and do the sting test. So here he is. Let's let's go ahead now. He's definitely spiking me. Um, I can feel his spikes. I'm gonna push. Oh, let me push down on. Guys, I'm gonna say that that probably is not a sting. That's probably more like just spines. So very cool caterpillar. Um, maybe in a while it may start to show some irritation, but I'm not sure. Um, it doesn't feel like much right now. So, those spines are really long and kind of brittle. Very much like a porcupine. Alright, let's go ahead and, uh, let this guy go. I'm just gonna put him right here at the base of this Drake Elm tree. Now, he's balled up right now. That's a defensive tactic. He balls up so that way all his spikes are exposed and nothing will come in and eat him. Um, Supposedly not a favorable situation for some kind of predator to try to ingest something like that. Everybody, let's get on the same team and help educate everybody about insects that may not be harmful and some that may be. So make sure you press that subscribe button. Definitely comment, like, and share this video if you liked it. Thanks again.